What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the last video I did, which was how to add a product in your Seller Central dashboard. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the UPC code, which a lot of people get confused about. I see questions in the Facebook groups all the time asking, how do I get the UPC code on my package? Or what do I do with the FNSKU? Um, so I'm hoping that this video kind of explains how that all works, how it fits in, and what you actually need to do in Amazon Seller Central to make it all work. So let's go into the actual dashboard. Okay guys, I'm in the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. We are gonna go to inventory, add a product, kind of just like we did in the last example. Sorry, my last video we did this. Uh, create a new product listing. We're gonna find the category. We used the garlic press example before. We're gonna stick with that, find category. We have the most relevant category for this product, garlic presses. And here we have some of the vital information that we need to fill in in order to actually save and create this listing. So vital info, we're just gonna do stainless steel garlic press. Um, manufacturer is you, your brand. So uh, let's see, my brand, brand name, my brand. Okay, product ID. So it says any valid GCID, UPC, or EAN. Uh, for the sake of this video, we are going to use a UPC code, which stands for Universal Product Code. Um, there is a lot of debate about where to get these codes. Some people uh, say that you should absolutely get them from um, GS1, GS1 barcodes, which is like the uh, gold standard for getting these barcodes. They're about 250 bucks, I think, for 10 of them. Um, and there's another group of people who say you can get them for about two bucks each or five bucks each off of websites like Nationwide Barcode or Speedy Barcodes. Uh, me personally, I've used Nationwide Barcodes and Speedy Barcodes without any issues. Um, and I know other sellers who are doing uh, seven and eight figures a year who also have used these websites and they're not too concerned about it. Um, so that ultimately, that decision is ultimately up to you, uh, what you what you choose to do. And you have to understand that's at your own risk. If things, if Amazon all of a sudden decides that they won't accept third party barcodes, then um, that's, uh, that's the risk you have to take. So I have a UPC here that I just purchased and I'm gonna enter that in. Okay, and then the offer, we're just gonna hit one here. Item condition is new. Standard price is 12. Okay, so it looks like we have, oh, here we have to select UPC for this to work. And got it. Okay, so look, everything that we needed to fill in is now filled in, so you can see that this turned yellow with allowing us to save and finish the listing. Um, and that's it, guys. So basically, I just wanted to show you kind of what the UPC is um, and how that fits into your product ID. Now, you're probably still wondering, what does it have to do with an FNSKU? Um, so I'm going to make another video explaining what the FNSKU is and how it applies to your product, where it should go in your product, um, and tie that in with creating a shipping plan. So stay tuned for the next video where I kind of explain this in detail and um, make more sense of what I just said. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.